Okay, so if you really understand fractions, this will be a very easy problem to solve without using your calculator. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. So we have four and one half divided by one plus one third. All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time, our numerator is this uh, mixed number fraction, 4 and 1 half, and our denominator is all of this, 1 plus 1 third. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. The correct answer is 27 over 8. Now, if you got a mixed number fraction as your answer, just make sure it's equivalent to this right here. But uh, if you got this right, well, that is super good. You're definitely going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, fractions is the number one thing that I don't like doing in math. Well, a lot of people feel that way. But uh, to be successful in math, you have to be comfortable working with fractions. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So here we have 4 and 1 half divided by 1 plus 1 third. So what do we want to do here? Well, we have mixed number fractions. You always want to take your mixed numbers and write them as improper fractions. So 4 and 1 half is the same thing as 9 halves. So remember uh, to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. By the way, I'm using these terms, mixed number, improper fraction, and proper fraction. So if you have a fraction like 1 fourth, where the denominator is bigger than the numerator, like in this case here, this is a proper fraction. Now, if you have a, a fraction where the numerator is larger than the denominator, like 9 halves, this is an improper fraction. And improper fractions you can convert into mixed numbers by simply dividing the numerator by denominator. Um, now, what we want to do here is convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. So remember, the way we do that is you're going to take this 2, multiply by 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So you have 9 halves. So again, these are all kind of foundational concepts of fractions. Hopefully, uh, this was not a problem for you. But if you're confused on this, again, you're going to have to do whatever review is necessary. All right, so we got 4 and 1 half. That's equal to 9 and 1 half. And now we have 1 plus 1 third. Well, 1 plus 1 third is the same as the fraction 1 and 1 third. So let's go ahead and write this fraction 1 and 1 third right now as an improper fraction. Okay, so here's our 9 halves. That is our numerator. And then 1 and 1 third as an improper fraction. Of course, this is a mixed number. We want to write that as an improper fraction. It's going to be 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1. That is going to be 4 thirds. Okay, so this is the problem that we have right now. So this is the numerator, okay, and we're dividing it by this uh, denominator right here. So remember, uh, when you're dealing with fractions, the fraction bar in and of itself is the division operator, okay? So you could substitute this fraction bar with this symbol. So let's go ahead and do that right now, as that's basically what we're going to need to do to take this problem to the next step. So here, 9 halves divided by or 9 halves over 4 thirds is the same thing as 9 half, 9 halves divided by 4 thirds. So let's go ahead and write it this, uh, this way. 9 halves, this fraction bar, is the same thing as the division operator. So 9 halves divided by 4 thirds. Okay, so now we're dealing with basic, um, uh, basic number operations with fractions. So 9 halves divided by 4 thirds. Let's go ahead and see how we take care of this. All right, so how do you divide fractions? Well, the, uh, the main idea is we don't really divide fractions. What we need to do is change the problem into a multiplication problem. So we have 9 has divided by 4 thirds. We're going to change this into a multiplication problem. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to flip the fraction to the right of the division symbol. So in other words, you're going to find what we call the reciprocal. It's basically just going to flip it upside down. So when I flip 4 thirds, I'm going to end up with 3 fourths, okay? But when I do that, I'm also going to change a division to multiplication, okay? So make sure you understand this. Again, this is all basic foundational uh, fraction knowledge. But hey, listen, if you don't understand this, matter of fact, if you don't understand this, I think that's good news. You might be saying to yourself, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, what I'm saying is 
you've identified an area that you're weak in. I mean, a big part of learning math is to identify what areas you know and don't know. Okay, so if you're like, oh, I don't get that, I don't get this, well, make a little list. And then, you know, obviously you want to, you know, start working on that. But I'm going to really encourage you to um, kind of get into some formal instruction because another big mistake that math students do is they try to learn a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. That's not the way to do things. You want to kind of get in some, some sort of formal instruction you know, i.e. like a course, so it's done in a correct chronological manner. In other words, when you're talking about fractions, you got to learn this first, and then this second, and this third, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to make things much, much easier. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. So we have nine halves times three-fourths. Now, I want you to notice that I've been writing my fractions with this angled fraction bar. So typically, I don't write fractions this way, but a lot of uh, people do. There's nothing wrong with writing your fractions as an, uh, with this angled fraction bar, but just as long as you know that you can uh, write um, the same problem this way, so nine halves. Now here, I'm using kind of a horizontal straight fraction bar. I prefer to write my fractions this way because here, we're going to actually have to multiply across the numerator and denominators, but either way is perfectly fine. So if you uh, write your fractions with this angle fraction bar, that's, that's, it's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? But uh, again, just know that these are equivalent and one is not better than the other. I just prefer to write my fractions this way because to figure out what 9 halves times 3 fourths is going to be equal to, what we need to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. And when I have this nice little straight fraction bar like this, you know, that angle doesn't get in the way, but that's just me. So nine times three is 27. That's our numerator. And then two times four is eight. That is our denominator. And here is the final answer. Of course, you always want to see if you can reduce your answers. This uh, particular um, fraction cannot be uh, simplified or reduced. And what you do not need to do is turn this into a mixed number, okay? Do not volunteer and say, oh yeah, I'm gonna turn this into a mixed number. In other words, take 27 divided by eight. Uh, I would not do that, okay, on a quiz, test, etc., cetera, um, unless your teacher specifically ask, ask you to do that. Because here's what I've seen happen countless times through the decades. A student will have the correct improper uh, answer, improper fraction answer, they'll be like, Oh, that's so good. And then they'll turn this into a mixed number and make an error. And then they'll give this fraction with the mixed number with the error to the teacher. And unfortunately, you know, the teacher's got to take out points. And then you got a very, you know, uh, upset math student. They're like, hey, what happened? But I had the right answer here. So listen, uh, when you watch my videos, I'm really going to try to break things down. But I'm also going to try to give you really uh, kind of important test taking uh, tips that you're not going to find in a test or a textbook or, you know, even some teachers won't even uh, tell you this. Okay, so I'm just giving you experience from years and years and years of teaching mathematics. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.